because um, all that we really know from the beginning of the play is that you look good because you defeated Pompey and then stop you by the And they feel pity for him when he drops his gold ones when he sees the crown. And his fate is in it. Persuasive, but he wasn't really manipulative. Why? <coughs> because he just convinced people that uh, Caesar <coughs> wasn't bad. But he didn't like manipulate people. Mm -hmm. I think Cassius is one of the most manipulative and convinced players that Caesar was a vicious and I agree, and he also forged the letters and stuff on the birds. Yeah, I do, exactly. Because, because what else? He's dirty. Why do you disagree with me? That's not even me. How do you disagree with me? Because he wasn't selfish and wanted the best. Maybe the best. Yeah, exactly. I don't think he told the truth about what he said. I don't think he didn't go too far. I think he did. I think he did. He doesn't conspire against his friends. Exactly. Well, Brutus did it for the love of Rome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Brutus kills himself. Yeah, Brutus just killed his best friend. Yeah. Brutus let other people make up his mind for him.
Okay, so so how do you decide? How do you? You wouldn't want someone like Brutus who can't make up his own mind and just goes off facts by what like, his own friend said about his other friend that he was loyal to. And plus, Brutus fell for the letters and they weren't even true. Mm. So he's not. Okay, we've got about five minutes left. You can you can revisit your other uh, your other questions that not everyone got to share their opinion about. Who are the tragic heroes? Remember the, the definition. Who can share the definition of a tragic hero? Suffering or death because of a tragic flaw. Death or demise. Was Mark Antony, what was his demise? His downfall, his taking down. Going from a high stature up here down to bad stuff happening to him. Nothing bad happened to him. Oh. Decius Brutus. All the conspirators are, but I'd say Cassius is the main one. Because he started it, yeah. So there's a distinction that you're making between that art of persuasion versus manipulation. Can you expound on that?
And who, who in our play uh, was persuasive? Who else in our play was persuasive but not manipulative? Can you want to wrap up, see if there's any final thoughts? <laughs>